Hello and welcome to IT Security Labs. So I was on my Twitter today or X and I found that hackertarget.com has this wonderful project that they worked on and it's called Nmap Did What and click on this link here. I see that, oh, it's actually a Grafana dashboard for Nmap results. As you all know, on this channel, I really like Grafana. I spend a lot of time playing with Grafana a little bit and here someone came up with a wonderful project that I think is really great so they have nmap results getting ingested in grafana and easily presenting it to you where would you use this let's say you run a subnet scan and you want your nmap results to be easily digestible so you don't have to pass through every single file when i went for the osep or oscp i got a bunch of results and Passing through those results and getting a summary was kind of a hassle. And I can imagine a lot of pen testers or even red teamers have the same issue. So this might be the solution. So today I'm going to try it, run it in my own lab environment with multiple hosts and see if this project will be able to ingest MAP results into Grafana and end up with a graph that looks hopefully similar to this, which is going to be part of my workflow if this actually works. So first, I went to their GitHub repo Hager target github and here they actually have simple instruction first you need to clone the repo cd to the database then run the instructions are pretty much here but they also have a document where they actually go through in detail like hey here's how we do we do things so i follow the official documentation first you run an nmap scan against your full subnet in this case i'm going to run an nmap scan on my vSphere environment, as you can see, I have a few machines here that are just in there. This is vCenter running a bunch of machines. Let's assume this is a customer that says, hey, can you pen test our environment? You can run Nmap, there's no problems getting caught. Maybe we'll do that against this here with multiple running hosts. So we'll go to our Kali, run that Nmap scan. My subnet is 192.38.0. So this will scan the entire subnet as long as we use this. They're using a service version with dash F. They're also using dash dash script, looking specifically for the HTTP title and certificate information so we can ingest that information. And we're outputting in all formats to, it's called my output, I'll just call this one, maybe nmap dash foo subnet. Notice that this is not scanning all ports. This is just the top 1000 TCP ports. This does not include UDP ports, but we'll just run this and see what happens. And while that is running, they also said to go and clone the repo. So what we can do is a new tab, git clone that repo. And while our nmap is running, let's go and check what's in the repo that we just cloned. So first they have the readme and the license data. This is where we put our data and then Grafana Docker, CD to Grafana Docker. Let's check what's in there. They have a Docker Compose. What's happening in Docker Compose? Okay, Docker Compose is pulling the official Grafana. They're starting a container called Grafana Nmap on port 3000. So, and then they are just launching data stores pointing to data in in our case they are pointing to the data folder so we need to put our data in the data folder that's what will be ingested here and then they have the regular environment variables for grafana that we can set up this we have a default username and password so let's go back so that's just grafana let's go to data this is where we have Nmap to SQLite. Okay, so they are converting the XML data, Nmap data from Nmap to SQLite. How are they doing th that? All right, so we have a long script here, but it looks like it's just formatting the data that we get. Let's go to the top. I looked at this earlier as well. All right, so they're using SQLite 3, XML, it read for passing XML, and then date time for date and then for parsing. All right. So if you run this uh, as a warning, if you run this script here against hosts that do not have open ports, let's say your Nmap results contain 
hosts that do not have open ports, you'll get an error. And that's because you don't have an open port. So what I suggest, which I'll probably do as I learn my development skills here, is to put a check here where it says, before it checks for the ports, if it doesn't find any ports to skip that host, because that's a common issue that you might see out there. I did run into it as well. But anyway, the script is good. Let's check to see if our enemy is running. It's still running. Right. So to save us time, I already did it. I ran the, the same scan that I did earlier. And this is the subnet. .xml, XML. So subnet.xml.xml. .xml. This is the full subnet results. Now they're saying, let's run Python against subnet.xml.xml. Notice that I moved my nmap results into the data folder. So if you ran your nmap results from temp, you need to copy that, the nmap results, and make sure that they make it into nmap did what? And then in here, in the data folder. If you don't do that, then you, you will not be able to get this data. Your nmap results definitely needs to be in here. I just didn't move them right now, but I want to make sure that you know that. Here, let's go back to nmap did what? Actually, into the Grafana Docker, so we can start Docker Compose here. So it's going to be Docker Compose up dash D, because that's the dash Docker Compose file that we want. This will pull the Docker image for Grafana the OSS here, and then once it's done, let's go back to our instructions. So we did that. This is where they are copying the output to make sure that it's in the right folder. So if you're following the official documentation, it should not be any, any issue. Here they're using Python 3 to output. Out, Python 3 is default for me. That's why I'm just saying uh, that. Okay, and here they're saying go back, which is what I did. Then they started Docker Compose with sudo. If you do, do a docker ps, we should see that our Grafana is running. Docker ps, for sure it's running. Then next, we can just go to localhost on port 3000 and access our Grafana instance. Okay, so localhost on port 3000, you go to slash login. You can put admin, admin. The first time you sign into Grafana, you will be asked for to change the username, the password like this. So I'll just change that as well. You can skip if you want, but I just changed it. Then first time you get in here, you go to dashboards, nmap dashboard, and I have 17 hosts in my vCenter environment. Actually, they are not all here. There is in this full subnet that contains the vCenter, there is 17 hosts, and those hosts are all in my lab environment doing different things. They're all running behind a Cisco Meraki device, which is nice. So it can tell me like, hey, this is the firewall. It's a Cisco Meraki firewall. And then if we go down here, you see open services. So if you wanted to target specific services or prioritize services, this is a nice way to do so. Uh, we have port 443, it's vCenter, we already know that. We have Nginx on port 240, a uh, bunch of Nginx, Microsoft is in here as well. There's even a different subnet that I scanned earlier, so these were ingested from earlier. So this is actually fully capable of keeping results from other scans. It doesn't overwrite them, because you see this 1044104 machine, that's actually a hack the box machine that I just started and I scanned as a test. So you can have multiple tests and just keep adding to this. So this could become like your main results ingester. Highly suggest this for like people who are, you have multiple hosts or you wanna keep track of hosts like OSCP, OSEP, pen test, red teamers. This is actually really good. I can definitely see improvements here where if I wanted to see per host, that would be nice as well. Okay. Um, Scans loaded, as you can see here, I loaded multiple scans. So right now I just loaded another one. That's why you see that these, these are the loaded scans. And I had 43 ports here, there were three ports on the other one. See that there's a Synology on 55. So if you wanted these results, this could be very, very helpful. Otherwise, 
I also see unidentified services here, which is interesting. Like 445 is unidentified. Then I see main services listed here, including DNS mask, which is running on one of my services. Let me know what you think in the comments below, but I'll definitely be using this nmap tool in my scans and i also am very curious about the pickup one where we'll be looking at pickup in the next few videos so thank you very much for watching if you're interested in videos like this please remember to like subscribe and i hope to see you next time